everybody welcome to another business analysis video in today's video I'll be talking about the business analysis CV or resume what you should include in your CV and what a template uh, of a business analyst should look like so one one uh, advice I would have is as business analysts we are always looking at requirements elicitation requirements documentation so I would advise that you have your your CV written written like a requirements document because the company that you're employing that you're applying to have a list of requirements that they're looking for in a candidate so when you read the job spec of that company try to make sure that you have at least 90 80 to 90 percent of the requirements for that role so that's one um, also think about the fab the features and benefits of your experience of the projects you've worked on for example rather than just stating oh i work did i just click <laughs> for example rather than just stating i worked on a project where i um, mapped out the end-to-end -end process of of the whole uh, function and leave that there as part of your project description try to justify that try to um, have a, a result from that mapping saying something like for example mapped out an end-to-end -end process within the the finance function of so so company um, allowing interaction with uh, stakeholders or allowing uh, clarity or pictorial representation of of um, of that process you know rather than state what you did try to state what the outcome of what you did uh, resulted am I saying the right thing <laughs> also look at the formatting of your um, CV uh, and the structure in my CV see if you not in my CV but like what am I trying to say I look for my CV let me look for my CV I'm not gonna share my CV I'm not going to so what I would say is obviously in a in a find good CV templates online type on Google business analysis CVs type that so it will help you it will help guide you in what to include on your CV you can also even um, look online on those job websites and type business analysts and look at the structure and look at the what they're requiring in a business analyst role and try to identify ways in which you you, you can apply those um, those requirements onto your CV for the structure of the CV um, try to have a personal profile at the top of your CV uh, and possibly highlight certain um, expertise that you have or uh, as part of your profile and then the next heading you should have is your professional experience um, highlighting your role the description of your activities uh, uh, what I have on my CV is I try to initially summarize the project that I worked on and then go ahead to list the features and benefits of my delivery or my involvement in each of those projects and then um, next will be my education and qualification uh, I found that in a lot of CV they most people would write their qualification and education first but in order to um, focus that onto that requirement, like I mentioned, seeing your CV as the requirement. So you are first um, displaying your, your experience at the top. It's, that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for your education yet. They're looking at your experience, your years of experience. Uh, and your delivery in projects so once you've had that work history experience somewhere at the top 
then you can at the bottom have your education and qualification. And the last thing I have on my CV, my CV is very straightforward and <laughs> to the point. Um, the last thing I have are my technical proficiencies, my modeling tools uh, experience such as um, using MS Visio Lucid Charts, Streamlane Diagrams, Mind Maps, BPMN, um, using systems such as Figma or uh, InVision. Uh, I also have my project approach experience, Agile, Waterfall, Scrum, Kanban, Vmodel. Um, and then I have computing platforms and applications. And these are computing platforms that I've worked on in projects that I've used and I've worked with in projects. And these are also justified in my um, work history a description or features and benefits of my delivery. Um, a lot of them include SQL, um, again Lucidchart because this, these are all applications or compute, computing platforms, ServiceNow, Salesforce and I've also included my um, Microsoft skills. Uh, and finally under the technical proficiencies I also have my project documentation. So these are the sort of things that um, I think a good business analyst CV should have. At, this, uh, at the same time with having the detail or going straight to the point with your experience, your role, your profile and your technical uh, and soft skills, I think the way that the CV looks should also be a factor. Try to make it look nice. Don't just use black and, <laughs> black and white. Don't just use one uh, font um, size for everything. Try to show that you're also really good at using Microsoft Word by using the um, the styles, the heading styles, uh, by using your bullet points, by using your lines, by um, using bold capitals, um, adding some color onto your CV. I have colors on my CV where I've highlighted, you know, I've highlighted my role because it draws the attention. I feel that this is where my psychology skills come in as well because you try to see yourself as the recruiter. Does your CV actually look interesting to, to look at uh, at first glance? Does it look like something that I want to read? If it's just black and white, boring and so clumped together, no matter how well your skills uh, and your experience are, I'm not going to read it because it looks, it looks boring and clumped together. You know what I mean? So try to make your CV look attractive so that you can draw people's eyes to want to read what you have on there. So yes, these are the points I can share about having, the, uh, having a good business analyst CV template. I will be adding, um, I've added a template uh, at, on the description field or uh, under this video. So do feel free to, to use the template uh, as to, to create your business analysis skills. Okay, <laughs> so that's it from me. I hope I've been able to help to, to give you clarity on, on what to include on your CV. Um, as always, feel free to ask any questions in the comments section and I'm happy to respond or create a, an entire new video about your request or your question. Do support by liking, subscribing, um, turning on your notification bell. Yeah, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.